In February 2021, Amanda Jo entered her first skilled riding competition in Daytona Beach, Florida. She entered the contest as a novice and came out classified as an expert. And she's been turning circles and turning heads since. Here's Bob Courtney. For Amanda Jo in Cajun Thunder, it all began a little more than a year ago at Daytona. It was their first official civilian competition and Amanda and her team were out to prove that this little group from the Bayou State could hang with the big dogs. And they did. But the training that brought them here had begun months before. In October of 2017, my wife and I were riding down the road and we passed by Harley and they had balloons and things everywhere. And We've been talking about a motorcycle for years and and I'd never ridden one, so I, I just off the cuff said, hey, let's, let's, let's stop and get a motorcycle. Amanda's father, Mike Swim, didn't discover motorcycles until he was nearly 50 years old. But when he did, he went all in. And I realized at my age, I didn't have time to, uh, to, to, to learn the traditional way. So we uh, invested in a concrete slab, cones, motors, everything we needed to learn fast. Mike decided that if he and his family were going to ride, they would be the best they could be. So he sought out the best trainer, veteran Baton Rouge Police motorman Mike Richard, and skilled riding just naturally followed. Soon, Mike, Amanda, and some of their friends were carving up the concrete pad next to Mike's shop. As they progressed, more concrete was poured, more cones were purchased, and by the end of 2019, they were talking about trying their hand at the national competition circuit. But a thing called COVID intervened. Competitions were canceled. The 2020 season was a bust. But since there were no competitions, Amanda and her team found that they had plenty of time to practice. And practice, they did. When competition officially resumed at Daytona Beach last year, all that practice paid off. Lightning struck and Cajun thunder roared. And Amanda and her team took more than a dozen trophies. When the smoke cleared and the competitions ended for 2021, Team Cajun Thunder had solidified itself as a force to be reckoned with. In just three years, Amanda Jo had progressed from taking her first ride on a motorcycle to becoming a skilled riding expert and a competitor with a wall full of trophies and a good deal of national cred to boot. But as 2022 approached, Amanda Jo had a new goal. I do have a new goal this year. I want to win, which means that I'm going to have to do better than my dad. So last year, I was novice. My dad was expert. I didn't have any competition against him. But this year, I'm going in expert, and he's expert as well. Last year, it was fun because we kind of had the father-daughter slow ride, and it was, it was all very sweet, and I'm sure it will be again. But this year, I, <laughs> it's going to be challenging. I want to put up a fight. Uh, there's definitely going to be some uh, competition there. Beating her father would be quite a challenge. Amanda and Mike regularly compete in practice, and there is a healthy rivalry between the two. But going head-to-head -head with her father at Daytona is setting the bar pretty high, even for Amanda Jo. Join us next week as we learn the outcome of Amanda's new challenge. Until then, I'm T.W. Robinson. We haven't been everywhere, but it's on our list. See you next week on L.A. Rider.